it's time for a season review. And then, my friends, we are resigning from F.C. Kaiser Slaughter. Hey there, welcome back. It's episode 56, the last episode with FC Kaiser Swalter, our third club, unbelievably, on this journeyman save. We started out with Sterling Albion, got them promoted. Spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the rest of the series, I don't know how you got this far without having seen it. But anyway, uh, went to Honig Sanko Honice, got them promoted, was brought into Kaiser Swalter in a keep them from getting relegated situation. We successfully did that. 12th place, or was, I can't remember which one of these, I think it was here, we came in, it might have been down here, but we worked our way up, and we've won it three seasons running, we are the new Bayern, or Dortmund maybe, we don't have maybe the the background of a Bayern, but reputation up to four stars, we are rich, we've won the Bundesliga, we have 178 million pounds in the bank, because we got 86, almost 87 million in prize money for winning the Bundesliga. So today, we are going to do a season review. It's been a crazy season, um, and we'll kind of do a kind of a, not a save review, but a time at Kaiser Slotten review. We'll go back and look at Sterling Albion and Honitaka Honite and some of our players there, see what, if anything, they're up to, and then we'll resign and see what's out there on the job market. I'm thinking international, but there's not a lot of international jobs open, so there may be a long pause as we go through and try and find our next role. I'm a little like, I don't know, like I don't want to, it just feels like, man, I'm walking away from my guys, like, it's tough, and I feel like, the the, the thing I feel good about, right, is there's 178 million pounds in the bank, um, the club is in really good condition, we've got training facilities, I mean, if we go look at the facilities, right, adequate corporate facilities, state-of-the-art training facilities, superb youth facilities, exceptional junior coaching, and youth recruitment. So we're leaving them in a great spot. They've got cash money. They've got great facilities. They've got a young squad. If you look at this, right? Hinkle, five-star, coming up, 19. Maurice Vogel, 13 goals this season. On a rotation contract, four-and-a-half-star, going to be a stud. Tim Bravo, he's okay, but he's, I mean, he's 19. He's a, he's a serviceable left back. Oreo, five-star wonder kid, 20. Uku, I'm so confused. His rating has gone up and down. Serviceable backup goalkeeper, 20. Huber, right back. Three and a half star. Okay, decent. Tom Ward, three and a half star. Amada, like, even if you didn't want to keep all these guys, which I'm afraid to see what they're going to do, is you have a lot of pieces you could move to pick up pieces that you wanted, right? Amato, 21, four star. Chevy, who's been our starter all year. I have no idea how he's two and a half stars. He's a 703 rating. Cantero, three and a half star. Morocco probably needs to go. Hasn't been playing well. Darian, three-star. But, I mean, he had higher potential before he, like, whatever whatever his injury was, before he broke his foot, right? So he's, he's, a, he's a pretty good attacking midfielder. Kuzisto, who, who has to get the award for most percentage increase in value, maybe, at least for me. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying everywhere in FM. He's worth 1.2 million. We paid 975 pounds, not thousand pounds for him. Soria, outstanding four star, 65 K, just an outstanding player. 23, right? So like you just go down here. We don't have any old players. I mean, we got Papa Soria and he's retiring. I tried to see if we could get him to come on as a staff member. He doesn't have that option. Alexander Ring, who, again, we kept the season on a backup contract for tutoring and for the purpose of um, seeing if we can get him as a staff member. Andrada probably needs to go. He had a good run with us. Mukhtar's getting up there. Gertrude's still very serviceable. Three and a half star, deep line playmaker. You know, like, and then it's just, they're young. So, like, it's not like we have a bunch of 33, 34, 35-year-olds and, and the club, even though they have a lot of money, is going to have to spend a ton of money. Like, they have a squad here if they want. So, that's cool. So, I guess while we're here, let's take a look. Um, most appearances, obviously, our goalkeeper. Oreo with 34. Dorsch with 32. And it kind of drops off from there. Goals. I actually like this, that it's spread out. So, like... That's what I was happy with with the squad. I'm glad we kept Marcus Thurm because we had that discussion as a community 
last season, at the end of last season, do we keep him, do we not? And it just, it wasn't in me to cut him loose. So I think this is healthy though, right? Because Amato, I mean, he hardly played. He had six subs, six starts, three goals. That's decent. I mean, he's 21, right? But if you look at this main strike force here, 18, 15, 15, 13. So if somebody goes down with injury, it's not like you don't have an option to play for you, right? So I, I really like that we had, I mean, look at how many different people scored goals for us. You got Bastoni got a goal, Gonzalez, a bunch of center defensive players got goals. So I was actually really happy with that. I'm kind of, kind of surprised Stefan had the most. I think he only had 13. Yeah, 13 in league. Soria had 13 in league with six players in the matches and seven assists. Thurm was six in 13 appearance, or 13 starts. Not bad. And Vogel with 12 goals and 15 starts. It's just so like, that's really good for the future for them. Uh, assists, Soria, Vogel, Stefan. Cantero with five. I mean, a bunch of people with five after that, but not bad. Average rating, Soria knocking it out of the park. Bastoni, who's been a solid r Italian rock for us, has been there. Vogel doing very well. Again, not as many appearances, but I mean, you know, 18 to 13 subs is not bad. Hinkle with 17 to 10, 7 to 3, going to be stud. Thurum, again, I think it helped Thurum that we didn't play him. We didn't start him as much. Like, again, he had 24 starts but only 13 in the league so he had some cup games and champions league and kind of doing some of that so i think that was useful key passes you got darian with 41 that's really good soria i mean look at all this at the top headers bestoni knocking it out of the park not even close 107 to gonzalez is 67 so our center backs getting getting it done as well on the key tackles gonzalez and bestoni because morocco is not on the club he's or he's 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 part of the club he's loaned out you knew that uh, and then mistakes, Cantero made a bunch of mistakes, but I mean, really, really, really happy with the team overall. Uh, interesting news. Our U19s have done the double. They won the German U19s group two and the UEFA youth league. And like, that's no laughing matter. They beat PSG. Like let's, let's, uh, let's go back before that. They beat Leon before that. Where are we? We 6-1 Real Madrid and Man United. So we had two 6-1s in a row. Like, do that. I still have this cough thing going on. But anyway, played really well against like really good international competition. Um, so let's take a look here. International Roundup. I also think this is really interesting. It's a U-20s. It's a World Cup match. Okay, we have four starters on the German U20 on the team, and they played phenomenally. So again, none of these guys are are we, we didn't use them on the the uh, the senior squad. They're all on the U19 team, and they're all starting for Germany in the U19 World Cup. We added Gurchich to um, the best eleven, as well as Chevy and Cantero getting in. On our right, our wing back, right back, left back situation, I'm surprised that Bastoni has not overtaken this guy. I, I think that's a mistake by the game. Personally, Bastoni has been amazing. So right, end of season awards. Um, Jose Carlos Soria was worth the negotiating stress. Player of the season, fan player of the season, goal of the season, signing of the season, young player of the season. We're not going to look at the goal. They always pick something really bad. Match of the season, 4-2 there at the end of the season. Um, then getting wiped by Schalke. 97% full. I really think they should expand it. I'm not even going to ask. It's not my problem anymore. Uh, bu 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 confidence review, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, so I'm not going to do the end of season team meeting or the preseason start date. I'm going to let them decide that. Before we, we do that, let's take a look at how it wrapped up at the end of the season. Three wins to close it out. Cologne, Hertha, and Red Bull Leipzig. Three Two. I was happy with this because Mukhtar got a goal. It's like his fifth of the season. Amato got a goal, his third of the season, and Vogel got a goal as well. So we we played pretty much our starters. Uh, Chevy was hurt, but uh, pretty much pretty much everybody else except Darian. We put Mukhtar in because he doesn't like a big game. So I figured you've already won the championship title. There's no stress for this game, right? So that's what's going on there. Competition wise, obviously Champions League. Let's take a look at how it wrapped up. It hasn't they haven't had the final yet? So it's Benfica and Man United. Okay, we lost Man City twice. 
Is that even going to show? I should just do it this way. So it came second in our group there. Uh, knockout round, and we lost 3-1 on aggregate, or no, 4-1 on aggregate to Man City. Kind of disappointed that we didn't make any significant waves in the Champions League, but part of me is also like, it's my first time coaching in the Champions League, in FM, right? And the club, had, it's, I think, been, I think I said at one point it was like 98, 99 since they were in the Champions League, so they really have nothing to complain about, right? Let's look at the league table. Actually, let's look at the stages. Okay, la da da da. What is happening? What is happening? Playoff. League tables, what I'm looking for, please. Game. Yeah, there we go. 71 points. Stugart, 64 points. Dortmund, they still they still have Thomas. He's got to be on the hot seat, right? You finished fifth and you're in the Europa League. Red Bull Leipzig making quite the nice jump. They finished 12th last season, so that's a great job for them. Schalke, Bayern, Stuttgart is the surprising one. They were in 11th last season, so Dirk Schuster should be getting a raise, if you ask me. Um, I'm trying to think of everybody else. Wolfsburg's fallen down here. They've been pretty good. But yeah, 71 points last season. We had 67 points, so it's four points better than last season. See, Wolfsburg with the great fall there. Dortmund falling down. All right, and the previous season, 73 points with more of the usual characters up top. And then we finished, I think this is me, we finished 12th. I don't believe this is me. I could be wrong. But I suppose I have waffled on enough. Yeah, let's go take a look at the job center. We're not favored for any jobs because they're not expecting us to certainly be available. And uh, there's not... Yeah, there's only the U23 rolls available, so this hurts. This hurts. Let's take a look at my profile. I'm just stalling. I'm just stalling. Uh, 2021, there you go. Continental A, we don't even, I'm studying for my Continental Pro. Um, not bad, not very fit, probably accurate, if we're being honest, right? Not very adaptable. I answer calmly. My door is always one of my players. I'm fluent in English, Spanish, Polish, and German, so... Maybe that opens up those opportunities to me to be be the international coach, and I'm not disciplined at all, which is, I don't know how that happens. Okay. I'm now 41 in the game. I was making 15K a week. Not bad. Not bad. Enjoying it. Um, what else? I was going to show you. I've been in charge of 1,581 days. Made a total career earnings of 2.8 million. Uh, at Kaiser Slaughtern, 51% win percentage, but we've only lost like 25% of our games. I think that's pretty good, right? Out of 193, I mean, it's more, it's 27%, whatever it is. But anytime you can lose less than, you know, 30% of your games, probably good. Win percentage here, 46%. So again, less than a third of the games from a career standpoint have we lost. A lot of like, you either win it or you lose it, right? I mean, that's about the same, I guess. Um, positive goal differential of 107. Okay, here we go. <sighs> I'm not going to retire. We're just going to resign. We bid you adieu, Kaiser Slaughter. Godspeed. Moving on without me with that stacked roster. Oh, it hurts. The game's like, what? I just happened. What? Yeah. Yeah, well, sure. Oh, interesting. Alexander Roff and Marco Langner have left the club in the wake of me leaving. Maybe looking to rejoin their former boss should I take another coaching position. Well, that's kind of risky. Because what if I don't? So, I mean, that's... I mean, how do I get them onto a shortlist? Yeah, I mean... That's some loyalty right there, my friends. That is some loyalty. I'm loving that. Goalkeeping coach. Brought him in in 2021. 2021. Both of them came with me. I'm a little... I'm a little of a clumped over that, guys. I just... Mm. 
Mm, that's pretty good. It's pretty, pretty good. Oh, job security. Let's get a look at that. Do we have any? Can I filter it? But there we go. There we go, lads. International. Anybody? Uh, precarious Colombia. Germany. Ooh, we've been in Germany quite some time. You'd think that would. Oh, they've dropped. No way. They're down to three star. Holland, Ghana. Mmm. Mmm. USA stable. Oh, that's it. That's that's really interesting. They're down to thirty sixth in the world. Do we go with the German national team? Is that something we should be doing? Should I declare interest in the job? Hmm. Stephen Kuntz. Oh, he's our. Oh, I can't do that to him. I can't. Man. I can't do it to him. I just noticed that he was our chairman for eight years. Yeah, yeah. We'll wait. It, like we won't interfere with that. That's that just seems that just seems unfortunate. Uh, I guess I should show you Sterling and Honig Saka. Let's see what they've been up to. Oh, I, I was this close. I'm really glad I saw that. I was this close to. I don't know if you can declare interest in that job. I've never done international management. I'm assuming you could say, "Hey, I would love to have that one," but uh, yeah, we can't do that to the former former chairman. That would just be dirty, dirty. Oh, and I've got all these leagues loaded. This is gonna take forever. What a mistake! What a mistake! I guess I could unload the leagues. Maybe that's an idea. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what it's it's the middle of a it's 2025 so it's not like yeah they're in qualifying but they're not uh you know they're in qualifying but not it's not like the, they're at the world cup or something like that it's what i'm trying to get out <clears throat> vitesse yeah mm -hmm. so here's what i'm gonna do I'm going to go see if I can unload some leagues and hop forward and see if we can start getting some interviews for some international jobs. So hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, my friends, I'm bringing you back. Columbia is still precarious. Cyprus is available. They don't have a head coach, and there's not a head coach listed here. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what happened. So we're going to go for it. They are, if you look at it, they're in uh, UEFA qualifying for the World Cup. They're in second place. They're th wait, no, they're they're really tied for first. It's putting them in second based on goal differential. Okay, so technically they're in second, but on points they're tied. So right now they're in the World Cup without a head coach. Seems like a good move to make. So yeah, let's apply for it. Nothing else is available right now. I mean, I just got to this. So you still you got Ghana, Peru, Holland, Germany, Colombia, all kind of in uh, not great spots. I don't think U.S. is going to be coming open anytime soon. So let's uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to hop forward here. Hopefully they, you know, you don't have a head coach. It doesn't look like they've had a head coach since 2023. That can't be right. I mean, I I took off all the the leagues, but I'm thinking I'm thinking that would still be on there, right? Surely that'd be on there. Oh, you know what? While we're here, let me show you Sterling and Honitsaka Honitsa. Let's get through this. Hopefully I'm not too late, you know, for qualifying. I, I probably should look at their schedule to see what they've got going on. Cyprus, huh? Yeah, exciting times. Ba-ba-ba-ba-ba. Um, yeah, sure. Seems good. Seems good. Let me show you. Let's go back to Sterling Albion where it all began. <clears throat> having a great season. This actual real life season as well. So it came so close last season. Came in second. I don't recognize any of those names. Let's take a look here. Fourth place. Oh, okay. Okay, 55 points. Uh, let's look here. Let's just look at the semifinal. Oh, they go down on aggregate 4-1 to Queen of the South. 
That's disappointing. Who goes on to get promoted? So sorry, friends that are Sterling Albion fans. You've not made it back to uh, the championship. But again, I mean, we left. They dropped to sixth. Got back to second, fourth, but in the playoff this season, not bad. Uh, players. Uh, Jack Lametti is still there. 22 goals, 44 appearances, a 681. How is that even possible? How is that even possible? And then Carlo Pignatelio, who we brought in, isn't really playing. 18 starts, 644. Not very good. Honig Zanka got relegated. Eighth place, and they're in 11th this season. Okay, they're clear of relegation. They're clear of being even in the conversation. What is that, right? So, 18 points. So, okay, but, I mean, not nearly as good as they used to be. Let's let's hop in here to look at their transfers, because this is the more recent stuff. Zawadki, who is the, the up-and-coming attacking midfielder, 6.25K, not exactly a huge fee. Not recognizing any of the other names. Uh, yeah. Was it the goalkeeper? No. Nope. Oh, Ziedler, who was the left back, yeah, that we bought. 80 pound. How much did we pay for him? I guess we can go look this way, I guess, right? We got him on a free. No, we paid 28K. Oh, man, he just did not pan out. That was not a good purchase. <laughs> Marvin, the German. What's he up to? He's still out there. Okay. So we got him on a free. Sold him for 120K. Not bad, considering he's now worth half a mil. Pretty good purchase there. Let's look here. Some of these aren't even clickable. That's sad days. Mayitka, he retired at 24. Andrzak is with Radom, uh, Radomiak. Had to get my uh, stuff right. So it went on a free, and then they sold him. So that's a pretty pretty good. I mean, he didn't even play. And they sold him for 9500 Pretty good deal if you're not playing a player and you can make a profit. Kimiak retired at 22. Is that poaching youngster who was for that level decent, but not as good as he needed to be? Michael Dumianski, that rings a bell. But I don't remember what position he played, so we'll move on. It's fine. Yeah, so that's what's happened there. Not great things. I I, I wonder if Honig's, uh, if uh, Kaiser Slaughter has done anything yet. Oh, come on. Frank DeBoer! <laughs> <laughs> come on man you're paying me 15k come on you're gonna give frankie 30 and a half thousand he just up and left he was like deuces psg and they've got a better reputation that's surprising huh. have they transferred anybody out not yet so we'll keep tabs on that that's what's going on let me hop for i'm gonna hop forward a little bit if we still don't have any um, interviews or jobs, offers or anything like that internationally. We'll cut the episode short and you have to wait for the next one. All right, hold on just a second. <laughs> so they want me because they <laughs> don't have a coach. They're offered 3700 a week. It's a bit of a, a bit of a downgrade in my uh, living status, mm, but probably goes pretty far i would hope in cyprus compared to the 15k in germany what i'm gonna do i'm gonna leave this up to the community let's take a look at the job security nothing else has changed so the only one that is available is cyprus the other ones are looking not so hot would you or should i take 3700 a week to be the head coach of cyprus to attempt to be competitive the world cup qualifiers um I'll leave it up to you. So definitely leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on that. We'll take a vote. And then we'll see what happens in the next episode. Thanks so much for being here. Smash a like on it. 
let's really like the heck out of it. Can we get, I mean, we haven't had as many people watching these. Let's try and get 25 likes on this video. Subscribe if you're new. Leave that comment. Let me know what you would do here. Let me know if you have any other comments on the rest of the, of the season review. And we'll see you in the next episode, my friends.